Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dark Souls 2 walkthrough. In the last episode, we tied up a bunch of loose ends, and in this episode, it is time to venture into this. Into the dark. So today, we're going to be doing the Pilgrims of Dark Covenant. Let us venture into the dark. Welcome to the dark chasm of old. So, it's pretty dark in here, but it's not too bad. I can actually see a lot better than I thought I'd be able to, which is kind of weird, but whatever. So, head down here. And over there, it's Havel. Old Havel. Stab. Step, step, out, god, yee, 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 oh my god, he's so hard, yee, I can't see, I can't see, step, 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 oh no, step, step, okay, good, he is incredibly hard, but yes, in here you're going to be encountering multiple phantoms, and Havel is the first of them, and down here, he looks a bit like Ricard, I think. He's using a rapier and elite knight armor. But I'm a better rapier user than you, Mr. Man. So take this and this and this and this and this and all of that. And you know, I actually should uh, switch over to my uh, thing. Oh god. Ow, god, ow. Yeah, you also encounter these things in here, these tree spirits. But they are not very tough. Oh, get a bonfire aesthetic. Very nice. So, we need to head over in this direction. Over here. Don't forget this. It's very important. Oh, got all. Find the hole. So, over here. A brazier. So, with this, you need to light up a flame butterfly. And set light to it. And there we go. Now you need to do that for all three of them, because there are three dark chasms, and you need to light up all three of the Braziers in order to progress to the final stage of the Covenant. So yes, don't forget to do that. Because otherwise you will have to clear these places again. Now, over here is another one. Step, step, step. Stab, stab, stab. My Sparta Repairer is uh, completely upgraded now, so it's doing some pretty nice damage. And there we go. And now we can venture out. And get out of this place. Don't be afraid, you won't die. And with that, that is the first Dark Chasm conquered. Young undead, the dark beset upon you runs deeper than I had imagined. Let us see just how much dark you can endure. You have seen dark that has existed from times long past. What once was a great void of darkness became but fragments. But slowly, the scattered fragments grew, absorbing all things. It is we who will be pilgrims to these sacred sites. And we get and we get resonant soul. A very nice hex. So, that is one chasm down. I will see you at the next. May the dark shine your way. Alright, here we are at the second chasm location. Let's activate it. Finally. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mouth to the dark chasm is not normally open. If you seek the dark, young undead, you must offer a human effigy. I shall. The dark shine your way. May 
the dark. Indeed. Let's enter. Alright, here we are, in the second dark chasm. Now, you should notice that my vision has actually increased, because with every time your devotion to the Covenant increases, your vision within the darkness will actually become more clear. So, that's a nice little uh, bonus. Now, in here it's a bit tough. There's a tree spirit in the back, and two guys. So, we need to try and kill them before they swarm us. Stab, stab. Ouch. Yeah. Get away. Ouch. Quit it. Quit it. Drink up. Oh, can they use Estus? I think they might be able to use Estus. Maybe. Stab, 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 stab. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. There you go. Don't worry, they don't drop anything. Come here. Come here. Come here, Robin Hood. Stab, 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 stab. Ouch. Stab, stab. There, good. I don't care about the damage I take. Ow. Okay, I do care a bit. Leave me alone. Stab, 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 and die. God. Leave me alone. I'd say this chasm is probably the easiest, but it is also one of the most annoying. So, yeah. So there we go. Two wizards have now been lit up. So, let's get out of here. Pull this lever and bring down the elevator. Or bring up the elevator, I should say. And let's head down here. What awaits us at the bottom of here? Alright, out here, another one of these guys, wielding his daggers. But these guys ain't too hard. They ain't tough. Just stab them. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Dead. Easy. And over here, once again, take the plunge. And with that, that's two chasms done. Fantastic. So that one doesn't give us any extra uh, devotion, but the next one will. But yeah, in order to increase your devotion, you have to clear a dark chasm, and then the next one's for uh, lighting all three braziers, and then the next one is for doing something special. Okay, we are here at the last uh, dark chasm. You remember where this was? It's in uh, the Black Gulch on one of these platforms. So, let us head into the final chasm. So, welcome to the final Dark Chasm of Old. And in here you're going to encounter some pretty dangerous enemies. First up, you got these guys, wearing the ironclad armor and jewel wielding big ol' hammers. It's pretty awesome, but pretty dangerous. Ooh. Stab, stab, stab. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Stab, 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 stab. Oh god. Come on, there we go. Got him. And yes, in the background, King Jeremiah from the first game. Dual wielding pyromancy flames. It's pretty awesome. Oh god. And he wields a lot of pyromancy. Yeah. Ouch. Stupid tree spirit. Out, God. Leave me alone. Ouch. Christ. Oh. Heal, 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 heal. Ouch. Will you leave me alone, tree spirit? How much? Out, God, Jesus. Leave me alone. Oh, really? You healed? You healed? Well, that's just lovely. That's just fantastic. Ah. Heal. Yeah. Ow. Jesus. Right, 
come round here, you, so I can just kill you. Ouch. God, I hate you. Those tree spirits only exist to annoy you. They only exist to, anno to annoy you. Uh, right, stab, 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 stab. Dead. Finally. Now, come here, you. Stop knocking me over. Right. Jesus Christ, stop knocking me over. Oh my god, I want to murder you. Absolutely murder you. Die, die, die. Jesus Christ. I hate those tree spirits. They're pointless. They don't do anything. All they do is annoy you. Jesus. Thank Christ he's dead. Sorry for the rage, but those guys are annoying as hell. Oh. Anyway, up here, you will find the last of the Preziers. So let's light this sucker up. Alright, let's light you up. Let's light this candle. This very large candle. Alright, so that should rank us up to the next part of the Covenant. But, there's one more thing we need to do. So let's head over in this direction. And in here, you will have to fight two more of these guys. Careful, careful. Oh god. Yay. Stab, stab, stab. Oh. Stab, stab, stab. Stab. Okay, good. Good. Fantastic. Get a bonfire aesthetic. These guys actually drop a good amount of bonfire aesthetics. Oh god, there's another tree spirit. Why must there be another tree spirit? There we go. Plunging attack. Suck it. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, and dead. Fantastic. Huh. Uh, I don't know if there's anything over there. Let me just check a second. No, there is nothing over there. Sorry, I just never saw that area before, so I thought I'd go investigate. But no, there's nothing over there. Now, let's end this. Well, that's not the end. Behold the Dark Lurker, the final boss of the Pilgrims of Dark Covenant. So yeah, a pretty damn hidden boss. And also one of the absolute best in the franchise. So, his attacks, he has quite a lot, and they're all fairly complicated, so I will do my best to explain. So that's his most simple attack, it's a dark blade, it does entirely dark damage. So yeah, dark resistance is key in this fight, most of his damage is dark. And yeah, his swings, they're pretty slow, but they're pretty damaging. So you need to watch out. Oh, ouch. And always make sure you've got some uh, stamina to dodge. Dodge those. Stab him, stab him. Oh, and yeah, sometimes he will teleport, so you need to keep an eye out. Man, he's got a sick boss theme. And when he raises his hand like that, he's going to cast uh, basically Dark Soul Spear. So you need to watch out for that. And when he opens up that portal, he's going to shoot a bolt into it, and it will come out the other one. So you need to try and be able to run away from it in such a way that it won't hit you. It's very hard, I don't really know how to explain it, but yes, that's what you need to do. You need to keep an eye on where it's coming out and try and run away from it. It will home in on you, so it can be quite hard to evade. Right, this, this is where things get real, in phase two, where there's two of them. So in this phase, you need to keep track of the both of them at once, and it can be very hard to do so. And you need to find your openings. And as you can tell, they do massive damage. And they will not do the same attacks always. They will frequently do different attacks. So yeah, finding your openings can be very tricky. Like right now, I need to watch out for that. Oh, and when he goes flying up in the air, he's going to use a big laser. So yeah, watch out for that. Dodge. 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 Oh. Oh god. Oh, and that's just a big explosion. And the other one's behind him. You need to keep an eye on the two of them. What's he doing? Oh, he's casting a pyromancy. 
when he sw when he creates that like red portal that means he's going to cast pyromancy and it like has varying degrees of tracking so you need to keep an eye on the orbs okay it's going good dodge dodge oh no 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 that was close oh god i probably shouldn't be this close e e e oh god another portal over here run jump okay Oh god, oh... Dodge, dodge. Dodge, uh, I mean, uh, stab out. E. Oh, why did it jump? I didn't jump. E. Oh no, 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 the pyromancy. Stab, stab! There we go. Got it first try, holy crap. And, hey, you can't shoot me, you're dead. Only 35,000 souls for that, which is a rip-off, quite frankly. But yeah, I maybe did it a little bit late in the game. But yeah, that boss, really, really, really good. I love that boss. It's one of my favourite in the franchise. Absolutely one of my favourite double fights. It's also extremely hard as well, like especially if you do it earlier. If you do it earlier, holy crap, it's extremely hard. Like on my first playthrough, it took me like... Well, not my first playthrough, but one of my more recent playthroughs, which is my first one in a while. It took me like 30 attempts or something like that. It was crazy. I was there for ages. But it was so much fun, though. I love that boss. It's so good. Alright, and with that, that will put us up to the final rank of the Covenant. So, we are now a full-on Pilgrim of Dark. I knew that you were special. There is more dark within you than even you know. Dark is the mother of all. All things were born from it. And we get great resonant soul. Lovely. But there's more. May the dark. Young undead. You've discovered the truest dark within you. A deep, deep dark it is. The dark that we must all face. We need the abyss more now than ever. And we get the Xanthus armor and Climax. Which I believe is a, um... I believe it's a super hex of some kind. May the dark shine your way. So there you go. That does it for the Pilgrims of Dark Covenant. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.